One of the key problems in uh, breast cancer screening is the sensitivity and specificity we have to deal with. Um, X-ray mammography is the gold standard, but still has a very high false positive rate. We want to have a, a better technique that gives us not just the sensitivity, but also the high specificity. The hope is that we can provide better indicators of breast, better staging of the breast, smaller false positive rates. I'm Li Hong Wang, a professor of medical engineering and electrical engineering at Caltech in Pasadena, California. Uh, we work on photoacoustic tomography. So this is a uh, breast imaging system, human breast imaging system, um, based on photoacoustic computer tomography. Uh, we build this uh, device for very fast, high resolution imaging of human breast. We want to image um, hemodynamic information. Basically, we want to see blood vessels. Uh, you'll see this aperture here, which has 512 elements. Uh, this, uh, there are 512 um, small ultrasound transducers forming a ring array. So that's aiming at the breast from every possible angle within a 2D plane. So if you look at the breast from all possible angles, you have the full view. You can avoid partial view artifacts. And this gives us high fidelity in image quality. So it's very different from x-ray mammography, which compresses really hard sideways, which is not very natural, that's painful. Uh, patients really don't like it. And here we have slight deformation against chest wall such that we stabilize the breast. And we reduce the penetration requirement of light for breast imaging. So we shine light toward the chest wall from the bottom of this bed here. Then the ultrasound transducer will be looking at uh, the breast sideways. We image one slice at a time, and then we can move really fast to image the entire 3D breast. Uh, the data acquisition for each slice is within 150 microseconds. So we're devoid of motion artifacts altogether. And then we can image the entire breast within one breath hold. Now we ask the patient whether uh, she can hold her breath for 10 seconds or 15 seconds or 20 seconds. Then we can scan accordingly at different speeds. So to image the entire 3D breast within one breath hold allows us to avoid uh, breathing artifacts. So you, you minimize motion artifacts due to breathing motion. And that gives us high quality images. And uh, we can also look at one slice repeatedly. And we fire a laser pulse at 10 hertz. Every second we fire 10 shots. That allows us to see even the uh, pulsation of the arteries. This is an image from a healthy volunteer. You can see the level of details. We're uh, using color to encode depth. You can see the level of details of blood vessels we can image. The smallest vessels in the image is one quarter of a millimeter, 250 microns. If you, if you were to use contrast enhanced MRI, the smallest vessels you can image is roughly one millimeter in diameter. So we're four times finer in terms of spatial resolution and sensitivity for blood vessel imaging, um, yet we don't use any contrast enhancement. The tumors tend to have a dense collection of blood vessels. You see this aggregation of tiny vessels here. Uh, they really stand out in our images. And this is a side view of uh, the same region. You can see these bright spots for the tumor. These cancers are aggressive. They grow fast. They need more nutrients. They will have blood vessels to, to support it. So they tend to grow new vessels. There are denser vessels. So that's shown really well um, in our photoacoustic images. The important features of this technology is safe, entirely safe. We use non ion radiation. Um, it's painless. We don't do heart compression. This is only slight deformation to um, optimize for light penetration. Um, it's cheaper, and this is really fast. So we can image one slice within 150 microseconds, and we can image the entire breast within seconds with a single breath hold. Now, of course, sometimes you want to do multiple cycles of breath hold, but still within minutes, within 10 minutes, you're done. So this becomes extremely promising because finally optics has the right penetration, has the right spatial resolution to image the entire breast.